Hey there, boys and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tass, and I'm back with another video. I got one more. This is the last of the 4K Blu-ray reviews for right now. And, uh, yeah, this one is coming from Indicator. And, oh, my God, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate this company enough. And, uh, you know, I honestly suggest, you know, like, it, you know, um, you know, I know they're mostly like movies you never really heard of or anything like that, but man, oh man, I really do suggest, you know, like really putting the money in and, and supporting this company. But the movie we have today is called Cold Eyes of Fear. It's a kind of thriller, kind of giallo action, maybe a little bit of horror in there, but, you know, but uh, this is, def this was one of the ones that uh, was from one of the Redemption titles. When Redemption was running their Blu-ray line and stuff. And man, oh man, it's like, I can't tell you how much I really like this line. And I want to keep support. I've already got the other three uh, pre-ordered. And that's uh, Black Magic Rights, even though I bought the Blu-ray here a little while ago. You know, they put up the 4K. I, you know, re, you know, uh, that's coming out, yeah, uh, July 25th, I think. And then in August, I believe, it's uh, uh, Night of the Hunted and Our Word of the Vampire. But, um... So anyway, and I'm just in here thinking, it's like, man, oh man, I can't wait. I hope that they keep doing this. And I hope that, you know, like, I'm sitting there thinking, man, you know, could you imagine they get, like, Living Dead Girl and do Living Dead Girl in a nice 4K? You know, uh, other ones like Fascination or, uh, you know, some of the Jess Franco movies like The Demons or Female Vampire or something like that. You know, do these great 4Ks of them and everything else. And, uh, yeah, I think this is the alternate title of the movie is Desperate Moments. And, uh, so anyway, yeah, um, by the way, according to the J card, this is a limited edition. I got number 3,533 out of 6,000. That's just for anybody who cares about that kind of thing. So, movies co-written and directed by Enzo G. Castorelli, who directed the movie The Inglorious Bastards, which, you know, was an inspiration, obviously, for Quentin Tarantino to make Inglorious Bastards. And you got a nice music score on there by Ennio Morricone. Easily one of the best Italian composers ever. But, you know, here we go. We got this. And, oh, man, picture quality-wise, sound-wise, um, you know, it's just, wow. I mean, you know, you get high dynamic range. And this movie came out in 1971. And honestly, it's like, you know, the, the care and everything that went into the transfer is amazing. It's like, yeah, there's... You know, it's it's so cleaned up. This is probably the best this movie has ever, or probably will ever look. But it's so cleaned up. But it's not cleaned up. They didn't, you know, I, you know, I don't think that they use any kind of, like, digital processing or anything like that. But we'll get to the specs on that in a minute. But, my God, it is such a beautiful, clean-looking film. And, I mean, yes, there is grain content. Obviously, it's a film, you know, so there's grain content in there. But, oh, my God, it looks amazing. Like, oh, wow. And, you know, oh. And the sound quality is really nice on here, too. Like, they're just doing a really good job, you know. I know people are like, oh, Kino Lorber is going to knock it out of the ballpark with the 4Ks and stuff like that. To me, Indicator is really killing it with these things. And I hope they keep going. And, and I plan to, you know, I, this is, like I said, I don't usually buy too many, uh, try to buy every single edition of a line. In this case, I'm willing to make an exception. So we got the Indicator Limited Edition Special Features. Brand new 4K restoration from the original negative by Powerhouse Films. Original and English uh, mono soundtracks. Audio commentary with critics and authors David Flint and Adrian J. Smith. Uh, directing Fear, a 25-minute documentary. A revered director or interview. Uh, Enzo G. Castorelli revisits the production of Cold Eyes of Fear and his experiences working with the cast. An Italian in London, uh, actor Gianni Garco, reflects on his role and considers the film's place within his career. Uh, the Men in the Editing Room, assistant editor uh, Gio Franco Amacucci, I'm sorry if I mispronounce that, uh, describes his fruitful creative partnership with Castorelli, uh, a fearsome collaboration. Uh, DJ and soundtrack enthusiast Lovely John. Dissects the film's experimental jazz score, desperate moments, theatrical trailer. So that was the okay. That was the original. Uh, that was an alternate title for the movie. Image gallery, promotional and publicity materials, new and improved English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, newly translated English subtitles for the Italian soundtrack, a limited edition exclusive 80-page book with new essay by Robert, Roberto Curti, a new interview with Giovanni. Giovanna Raleigh, 
an archival interview with actor Gianni Garco, uh, archival news reports on the death of actor Frank Wolf, a career-spanning archival interview with director Enzo G. Castorelli, conducted by Mark Wickham, an overview of contemporary critical responses and full film credits, limited edition of 10,000 number units, 6,000 4Ks, and 4,000 Blu-rays for the UK and the US. <sighs> yeah, winded there. So. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, look at that, man. It's like, I oh, mean, same as, you know. The one thing, again, of course, I will say I'm not keen about this is, you know, I just wish they could have done, like, you know, plastic amore cases or something instead of these flimsy little cardboard things, you know. And, you know. Treachery is near. <laughs> yeah, just these flimsy little cardboard things I'm not really keen on. That's the only thing. You, know, you got the disc in there. Let me show you what the... What's on the other side, you might ask. So, there we go. Beautiful woman in the shower. You can see that. Sorry, my camera. Reflecting in my camera there. Lead actress, so. Anyway, come on, get on there. Yeah, that's really, you know, I've had the same criticism about every time, you know, these indicators. Like, I just wish they would switch over to Amory cases. It'd be so much better. But, uh. Here we go, and then you know you got the booklet. This area at the beginning, of course, yeah, it gives you a you know gives you an idea. You're in for some sleaze, which you know of course you do get. I believe that's the Maestro Castorelli right there. And let's look at the specs real quick on this uh, about the restoration. <clears throat> Cold Eyes of Fear was scanned, restored, and color corrected in 4K HDR at final frame. Post London using the original 35 millimeter negative, a combination of MTI and Nucoda DVO image processing tools were used to remove many thousands of instances of dirt, eliminate scratches and other imperfections, as well as repair damaged frames. Uh, no grain management, uh, edge enhancement, or sharpening tools were employed to artificially uh, alter the image in any way. The original mono audio tracks were remastered by Michael Brook. There we go. And of course we got our booklet here. The lead actress there, Giovanna Raleigh. Pretty lady. Pretty lady. There's Frank Wolf, you know, just kind of, you know, just see, Castorelli, things like that. You guys get the picture, but oh yeah. Critical response. Anyway, so yeah, you get a nice collectible booklet here, and man, oh man, just, uh, oh, come on, you, come on, get in there, sorry, folks, sorry, I'm not trying to waste your time, I promise, but anyway, get in there, you, and now you, there we go, so anyway, yeah, you know what? This is thirty bucks, and I don't res I don't regret spending a penny of it for a beautiful edition of this film. Um, may not be my favorite film of the titles they released so far, but you know what? I don't give a crap. I'm happy to have it, and I'm looking forward to m many, many more of uh, these releases. And uh, you know, I'll try to pick up every single last one of them if I can. So uh, anyway, yeah, Cold Eyes of Fear on 4K definitely get it i mean man oh man indicator yeah and this is 279 in their in their line but yeah cold eyes of fear on 4k i can't recommend it you know enough get it you know and uh support indicator and uh you know yeah so so that's it so uh if anybody took the time to watch this i thank you for doing it and i appreciate you for doing it i honestly hope you enjoyed the video if you did would you please leave it a like if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and uh that's it, guys, and uh, more 4Ks to come, so we'll have more reviews down the line. So take care, everybody. Have a good night. See you later.